What's up? Yeah, I was asked by Polar Magazine to do my, uh, what, what my thoughts were about my challenge match with Jordan Sill and my upcoming match with Chance Shaw. Uh, first and foremost, I'll give credit to Brian and Bray Croner and his team for putting together a great tournament and Jordan Sill for uh, calling me out or taking the challenge, whatever we want, teaching me how to arm wrestle, I don't know. Um, but he, he asked me to uh, do my take on what I thought of, the ter of that match and um, where my insight was. First and foremost, Jordan's hand and his wrist were my kryptonite, that's for sure. Um, he has a big hand, it's plenty strong, and I just need, I got to also work getting out of, out of those hands and going to the straps a little bit more. Um, probably, if I was going to back up and diagnose the match, it probably started about three weeks earlier when I pulled Jonathan Bray to left-handed. Um, I think it might maybe took a little edge off because I took time off to uh, get ready for that match, which I was fired up for. And then, after pulling that war, I was broke down worse than I thought I would, and it took a lot more recovery time to recover from that match. Not that I wasn't recovered before Jordan, it just took away from that training period longer than I had hoped. You know, that could have had something to do, um, but uh, lack of performance. But um, Jordan just pulled extremely strong. I had a game plan. I wanted to try to hook in and drag him, you know, drag him to me. And uh, he managed to get out into my hand just enough to keep me flat-handed, keep my wrist flat um, in round one, and uh, spanked me pretty good. Round two surprised everybody, even Travis Bajan. One, 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 when I took the slip. Uh, caught Jordan off guard a little bit uh, because I'm not really a slipper um, and I, I train a little bit but not enough uh, so I got out went to the straps and we found out that's where I could dominate him in but after that match Jordan with his big strong hand just he, more than I cared I didn't know which way to go because he was squeezing my thumb a lot harder and it showed in the last match when I was trying to get out he wouldn't let go for all for anything um, so he pretty much dominated me. Um, I think the worst thing I see when I watch that match was I got beat in round one, trying to go inside. I got the slip, got a win. But then I do the same thing in round three and round four that I did in round one. And I think that's the one thing that hurts the most is I didn't try anything else. I didn't try going higher up into his hand. I didn't try coming forward in the pad a little bit. Um, and that's probably the biggest thing after doing this for so long and doing super matches. I should have changed some things up. At least any of you to beat me, it was because I did different. I tried something different. But I tried the same three things on all three losses, and uh, it didn't work. So, Jordan, I'm going to be working to get out into the, those straps a little bit more, and we'll see if someday maybe if I can get out of your big-ass hand. So, But it was a great time. Had a blast all the time. Thank Nat Fit. And... Uh, Brian Croner's uh, team, so and Polar Magazine for putting this together. Then he asked me about pulling Chance Shaw. Me and Chance pulled actually three times in the tournament. Uh, round one, uh, I managed. I got the, I got the go. Pulled him over pretty easy. Uh, in the in the finals, first match. Um, this is where Chance thinks he he just outplayed me. I felt Chance's elbow come forward. And because of the way I beat him in round one, I sort of got mentally a little cocky. And I didn't say nothing in round one. And he got to jump on me because I was trying to think. I was thinking too much, which I don't do at an arm wrestling table. Um, he got to go. He got to jump. He got up underneath it. And you got to give Chance credit. Chance, If Chance gets where he wants, he's a strong boy. Um, but again... And then round three in the finals, I wouldn't let him push. As he was trying to close his hand in the rough grip, he was trying to slide his elbow forward at the same time. Rough grip, you can't move. Um, so I don't caught him off guard, caught him, you know, or I just out hit him. But round three was pretty easy. Um, he's learned. He probably learned something before June six. Um, I learned something from them. I'm not going to take him for granted. That's for sure. He's not getting nothing on the go. Um, and it should be a good match. Uh, you know, I always I hope the best for Chance down the road. 
but uh, I don't think June 6th is going to be it. So you all take care. Have a good time. Again, thank Mr. Cruz and Polar Magazine for giving me this opportunity in this format. Y'all have a good night.